Hey groups, welcome to another week of content. I want to start off with a quick announcement. We have a fundraiser going on right now for the youth. They are selling some flowers that are going to be littered on the stage for Easter Sunday. There's lilies and point, not poinsettias, that's a Christmas thing. Lilies, tulips, Hyanthus, that's a word. Um, so there's a few different flowers. If you're interested in buying some flowers and supporting the youth, I know all of the money, all the profit is going towards their scholarship fund for some trips coming up. So um, for one, support the youth, and for two, come check it, check it out on Easter because we're so excited to fill the stage with flowers. And then you can come, come pick them up after and make your home smell lovely. So um, make sure you do that if you're interested in that. Uh, but this past weekend, we spent our time talking about what it means to be mindful of God. We're in this series about relationship to God and what it means for us to look up towards God in, in some specific ways. We've talked about fear. Um, we've talked about um, worry and our posture and trusting God. Um, and now we've moved into this idea of what does it mean to be mindful of God. And Eric, over this weekend, kind of broke it up into three specific things. It's ask, seek, and knock. So how often are we asking God to step into some areas in our life? How often are we seeking God seeking his opinion and his guidance through these things and knocking. How often are we actually actually persistent in seeing where God wants us to move? So I think it is so important to be mindful of who he is and what he's doing in our life. So we're going to jump right into the group questions now a minute. And this first one says this. When you think about what being mindful looks like in your life, what do you see yourself fixating on? And there's an A and B that your leaders are going to spend a bit more time on. It talks about stress and even goals. So talk about those things in your group group to get started. Question number two. Um, and the first part isn't actually a question. I want you to spend some time reading through Matthew 7, verse 7 through 12, and then ask you ask each other this question. What is in your life that you are seeking that you haven't asked God about? Question number three, and this may be my favorite question of the day um, because it's about dreaming. Let's dream big for a minute. Uh, take your job out of the scenario. Take money out of the scenario. You're not, you don't need to be worried about any of, that, any of that stuff. If you could do anything, anything, let's dream big, anything. If you could do anything for the kingdom of God, what would it day? What would your normal day look like? Question number four, um, and this comes with a bit of a backstory to it. Many of us sit back and are just kind of comfortable with our life and where it's going. We don't, we don't ask God for many things sometimes. I know that's, that's in my life too. Um, I, for some reason, as I was going through this question, I thought of a young boy, right, who's sitting on the couch and he's dreaming of going and building a fort outside, but he, know, he knows he can't do it all on his own. He can't move the big logs. He can't, he can't get it to the height he wants, so he needs help. And he's sitting on the couch and he doesn't do anything because he doesn't know if he asks his parents what they're going to say. Right? And the parents looking at the child thinking, man, I wish, wish they did something. Right? I wish they wanted to go outside with me. I wish I could help them with something. But they don't say anything either. Like, what would it look like if we, if we are that child and God's looking down at us just saying, just ask me. Ask me to help you with something. Um, and that, that's kind of the motive and the posture I think I want us to be thinking about in this question um, that says, in what ways have you become comfortable with your life and have stopped asking God to show up in a new way?
Proverbs 3, verse 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. And the question comes from this. Think about that seek language that Eric used in this message this week. Seeking is a very intentional thing. Seeking doesn't mean you're just sitting back hoping something is going to fall in your life. You're seeking after something. You're looking after something. Um, uh, so the question that comes with this, what do you want to start seeking in your relationship with God? Question number six, and this is where the challenge comes in, because I want you guys to take your answer from question one, which was, what do you fixate in on your life? What do you fixate on? And talk about ways you can move that time that you spend fixating on that, question, that answer from question one, and actually move that time into how you can build a better relationship with God, your answer from question number five. So piece those two answers together and talk about what that would actually look like in your life. All right, and to wrap up today, uh, we always end with the question of, is there anything in devotions that stuck out to you guys, or if there's anything from the message? Um, talk about that, if there's any way that God spoke in a new way to you over this week. Um, and then also make sure you end with prayer, because we strongly believe in the pro- power of prayer, and we love that we have our groups praying for each other all over this community. So make sure you do that. And then if you guys have time, I'd strongly recommend, like I always do, the digging deeper section um, because it speaks on being mindful of what goes on around us. Uh, We can some, we, we have this image and we have this hope that we're mindful of what God is doing in our life. And I think the questions got to that, but sometimes it's hard to remember that the things that are going on around our lives, the people that we spend time with, the areas that we work in, Sometimes we're not mindful that those things can also seep into our lives in a negative way. So um, the Digging Deeper section is going to go into a bit of that stuff and how to, how to be prepared for some of that. So spend some time in there if you have time. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you guys next week. Um, we will see you soon.